In this video, we're talking all things Shining Legends and opening a bunch of sealed products. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Randolph. Now, today's video is going to be a bunch of different things. We're going to be speaking about the history of Shining Legends, the investment side of Shining Legends, and then, of course, we're going to be opening a bunch of sealed products. I've got an elite trainer box from Shining Legends and three premium powers collection boxes, so I'm pretty sure that's around 22 packs of Shining Legends, which is pretty mental right now. So before we go anywhere else, let's first of all speak about the history of Shining Legends. This is a holiday set, a celebration set, similar to Hidden Fates. In terms of the history and the previous years, the order of these holiday sets went something like Shining Legends in 2017, Dragon Majesty in 2018, then of course Hidden Fates in 2019, and then 2020 we do have Champion's Path on the way of course. So, like I said, Shining Legends was a holiday set released in October of 2017. It contained 73 cards in the regular set, but it also contained 5 extra cards as secret rares and then of course you do get a couple more promo cards such as the ho -Oh, Celebi and Lou Gear, like you're gonna see in a minute and as you could have guessed this set was featured around legendary Pokemon and mythical Pokemon but also shiny variants of those Pokemon. We all know the history of the Neo Destiny shining Pokemon over the years I'm sure Laura will put some on the screen right now shining Charizard, shining Rayquaza, shining Celebi there are many old shining cards obviously the shining Gyarados as well and this new set this modern set that came out in 2017 Shining Legends was kind of a continuation of those Shining cards in the fact that they have the same design structure which is a Pokemon on the card but the holofoil and the texture is on the Pokemon itself rather than the actual background. So usually you have a holofoil pattern on the background and the Pokemon itself isn't holofoil, but in these cards it's flipped around and it's, you know, it's the opposite. And as we know, shinies are some of the most sought after things in Pokemon, whether it be the video games or the TCG. So this was a very popular set. However, I also want to speak about the investing side of this set. And I also want to talk about investing in Pokemon as a whole. I definitely will be doing more investment style videos in the future and less specific investment videos as in this one's about Shining Legends other ones in the future will be very you know more generic but I think it's always healthy to speak about the money side of Pokemon now what I will say before we go any further in this video if you are solely into Pokemon for the investment side of things i.e to make a profit and nothing else then i'm probably not the best person to watch and also i don't really agree with that in general and while of course there is money to be made in pokemon we've seen some massive price rises in the past i feel like you still need to have some sort of collector's interest or some attachment to pokemon as a franchise if you want to succeed but also enjoy this man like go and invest in stocks and shares or companies if you want a solid return on investment but if you want to have fun while you're doing it then yeah then go for pokemon you know so i guess to get things rolling i want to first speak about some of the cards that i've recently been picking up or i have picked up over the years as you can see right here we have a collection of cards some in psa slab cases and some you know raw we have the shining arceus shining rayquaza i've got a couple of shining hoos here just raw cards and then i have some psa tens to show you guys these are a recent purchase and these will be included in a ebay purchase video in the future but i thought this was a perfect video to show them so of course we've got the shining arceus or arceus shining genesect we have the shining rayquaza the shining celebi we have the shining ho -Oh as well and we also have a Mewtwo secret rare. This is the probably the most sought after secret rare in the set right now. I didn't buy this card with this set. I bought this a long time ago. I think I bought this maybe last year for around £150. And already this card is being listed on eBay for like 500 right now. That hasn't been sold, but it's currently the only one listed in a PSA 10. But I think the main lesson or the main point I want to get across in this video is the fact that collect or invest in what you enjoy. Invest in the cards that you think look great, not the cards that the rest of the hobby slash industry think are great. For example, this Shining Arceus card right here, I picked this card up for around four pound, I believe last year, okay? When I first started making this channel, I was scrolling through eBay, looking at cards I would like to buy. I came across this Shining Arceus. I didn't know much about Shining Legends, and I wanna point out the fact in this video that I wasn't around collecting cards in 2017. I was doing music, I was doing YouTube. I never bought any packs of Shining Legends. I didn't even know it existed until I got back into it. So I bought this card after the set was out and I bought it for around four pound. I'm not sure exactly what this card is fetching right now, but I'm sure Laura can put some graphics on the screen. I mean, I think I paid around hundred pound for this PSA 10 right here. And you know, the card that I got that I can show you right now looks pretty good. The condition of this card is really good. And I could definitely see this potentially getting a 10 if I sent it over to Greater Gem and then to PSA. And again, I bought this card because I thought it looked good. That was it. I didn't know anything about the history, the price or whatever. I just thought a Shining Arceus 
with a bit of hollow foil on a Pokemon and shining in the name, surely that is a that's a good price. Four pound, what the hell? But I also made a mistake. What I didn't then do is I didn't go and buy many more of these cards. I didn't go and buy Shining Legends packs. I didn't buy Shining Legend Hollow cards. I didn't find the Ho, -Oh, the Lugia, the Celebi. And the reason I didn't go hard in it is because no one else was hyping this set up. This set wasn't hyped. It didn't seem like it was sought after. Yes, it was a cool box to open and it was a cool product to open. But beyond that, it wasn't an investable set. It wasn't a sought after set. And again, that goes back to the point that I was trying to make a minute ago is collect what you think looks good and what you think has worth rather than what the rest of the community think has worth slash value. Because if you do that, you can never go wrong. Worst case, the cards go down in value, but you've got some cards that you love that you personally adore and have an attachment to. But then again, in a couple of years, if people start scrambling and start hyping this set up and starting to want to collect this set, you'll have a position, a decent position of these cards that you can either then A, sell or you'll just know that the value has gone up and you've made a good investment. And we've seen this happen time and time again. A lot of the more hardcore collectors, me included, used to focus solely on Wizards of the Coast and nothing else that when everyone had kind of collected Wizard of the Coast or got bored of it or moved on, the EX cards, the Nintendo slash Pokemon era started to rise. And right now, you know, again, Laura can put some graphics on the screen. A couple of the EX cards, you know, from that era are going for ridiculous amounts. And these cards, I can tell you, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019 were super affordable, super affordable, but no one was buying them. Well, a select few were. I don't want to say no one was buying them. The smart ones were buying them, but the majority of the community weren't but now they're chasing these cars because they are hyped and they do have a higher perceived value. So again, I want to keep drilling it home to you guys. Collect what you enjoy. And I need to learn this as well. Collect the cars that you love rather than the entire community love, you know? So I'll make a video soon on some cars that I'm going to start going for, you know, some cars I'm going to start collecting. But just keep that in mind, okay? Don't let the community, don't let everyone else decide the value of a card make sure you decide the value of a card, you know? And that way, it's always a win-win. So there we go. That's the history slash investment side of the Shining Legends video. Now it's time to get into the fun part, the packs, baby. Let's go. If you're enjoying this video right now, make sure you leave a like down below. Let's try and hit 2,000 likes on this video. And if we do hit that, I'll buy some more Shining Legends and we'll do even more pack openings of this set. So I have three of these Shining Legends Premium Powers collection boxes, which include four packs of Shining Legends, but also more importantly for me, they include the Shining Loot Gear card and the Shining Celery card, which I definitely will be getting out of these boxes and sending to Greater Gem to be sent to PSA. Lugia, as you guys know, is my favorite Pokemon. I would love to get this card in a 10, and I thought instead of buying it as a 10, I'll try and grade it myself by buying some of these boxes. We also have an Elite Trainer box of Shining Legends, which contains 10 packs of Shining Legends, but also it includes the promo, the Shining ho -Oh promo card, which I also would like to grade myself. Don't get me wrong, I did buy a 10 of this recently, as you can see right here, but I thought, you know what? It's not gonna hurt to get another one and it's content for the channel. But I think what we're gonna do first is we're gonna open the Elite Trainer box just because that includes 10 packs and it's a little bit less fiddly with the boxes of the, you know, with the promo cards. I have to be very careful with taking those promos out to make sure that I don't damage them because they are behind tabs and it's very easy to damage them. I also wanna say this box is packaged up very, very well. Of course, most people who are buying sealed product like this wanna keep it sealed for, you know, indefinitely. So the condition is definitely important. So I really appreciate the person or the eBay, you know, the eBay store that first of all put it in the bubble wrap but also put these like little corner pads on them I think that's really great it's a really nice touch and it definitely does ensure the corners are you know in tip-top condition obviously me <laughs> I'm a sucker for opening stuff and I want to make content for you guys so I'm opening it but I appreciate this regardless it's also probably worth pointing out that I paid a hundred pound for this box right here and obviously on retail this box wasn't a hundred pound uh, I think probably at retail you're gonna be looking at something like 50 pounds similar to the champions path so that's why you do see Champions Paths, you know, sets like that, uh, you know, Hidden Face ETBs being hyped so much because there is actually an investment potential. With these boxes, I'm not telling you to invest in them. I'm not telling you to go and buy them, obviously, because I do have a store that sells them. But, you know, chances are these box will go up in the future. All right, here we go. We are breaking the seal of this Shine Legends booster box, or sorry, Elite Trainer box, and potentially <laughs> losing a lot of value. But you never know if we pack, I don't know, if we pack Mewtwo, Shine and Mewtwo Secret Rare in PSA 10 quality. Who knows? But there we go. We got the beautiful ho -Oh on this box. This box would be so much better if it had a Lugia on it, though. No cap. No cap. There you go. You got a player's guide of all the cards you can get. 
in this set. As you can see, we've got Venusaur as well. Really cool. We've got Shaman, Virizion, a lot of legendary Pokemon. Shining Volcanion. We have any more Shining on this page? Nope. We have... I mean, you guys can just have a look at this real quick. Shining Mew. I don't have this in PSA 10. I would love to get it in PSA 10. So if we can pull that, it'll be absolutely amazing. Uh, but yeah, let's get into the box itself. I can't wait any longer. And boom, there we go, baby. We have the contents of the box. We have the ho -Oh. We have the Shining ho -Oh promo card, which we'll take a closer look at in a minute. But most importantly, we have the goods, baby. We have 10 shining legends booster packs that we're going to open oh look at that pack man you should i should keep some of these sealed what do you guys think should i keep some sealed ah oh, nah nah i can't i can't so first things first we have this shining hello promo card i'm going to take a closer look at this in a minute but as you guys can see it looks really good actually there are, there's a bit of whitening in this corner and up here and to be honest these packs don't really do it justice these packs aren't the best you know way to store cards but i guess you know i guess pokemon can't send you sleeves they could actually they could put the they could put the card in some of these sleeves man but i guess this is what we get um so yeah i'll take a close look at this in a minute i'll open it in a minute you know off camera i'll cut it up and everything but i think for now i'll just leave it sealed but now it's time for the packs baby let's start with a shining rayquaza on the front of this one really excited to see what we're gonna get of course like i said there are some secret rares but mainly what we're looking for are the shining cards okay anything that has shiny in its name we're gonna be opening okay and a code card is gonna go this way although it might not matter in the holiday sets there you guys go is it four from the back as well? Let's try four from the back. It might be three. If there's an energy on the front here, we're good. Yeah, there we go. And lo and behold, we have the fairy energy. You guys know I love the fairy energy. It's not in the game anymore. Pokemon took it out. But let's see what else we got. We got a Feraligator. Let's go. I would love to also actually collect a full set of Shining Legends in a binder. I definitely don't have that. That's something I could do and want to do. We got How. We got Golurk. We have Jinx. Shroomish. Minon. Very cute. We have a Quillfish, Zorora, sorry, Zorua, a Stunfisk, and we have a, oh, we have a Hollow Latias. So even the Hollows look pretty nice themselves. Centering isn't the best on this one, but still, it's really nice. And I do believe, am I right in saying you get a Hollow in every pack? I'm not entirely sure, because like I said, I haven't opened many of these packs. All right, next up, we have a Mewtwo pack. Let's get into this one. Oh, we got a Bulbasaur. Code card for you all. In fact, do I keep the code card? This is a valuable set after all. One, two, three, four. I declare a thorn war. I'm going to go for a water energy. Okay, we have a fighting one. We have a Lipard. A Volcarona. Shout out Volcarona from the London Bishops. Let's go. Spiritomb. Bulbasaur. We have a Gullet. A Voltorb in the sunset. A Breloom. Litten. A reverse hollow lily and we have a oh let's go we have an entei gx which is really nice to see obviously it's not what i'm looking for but if i'm trying to get a binder set you know i'll take this for sure man i'll definitely take this so there we go we got a gx card looks decent as well you know maybe a bit white in the corner but very decent so there we go we got a latios and an entei so far entei gx next up we have the beautiful shining mew on the front mew has to have one of the best shinies man like blue are you kidding me Bubblegum blue as well. Um, I'll just take these out. I think they're all white. We have one, two, three, four. Check out the Pokeran store. Water. Okay, okay. Let's just stop guessing, Randy. You always get it wrong. Volcarona. Damage Mover. Ultra Ball. Scraggy. Croconaw. Jinx. Plusle. Toracat. That's a really cool artwork. We have a Minon. Reverse Hollow this time. And then we have a... Virizion Hollow. Very nice indeed. Shiny Genesect on the front of this one. Currently available in Pokemon Go raids. And yes, guys, I will be making some Pokemon Go content soon. I'm just working out how to do it, but don't worry, it will be coming at some point in the near future. Next up, we have a Darkness Energy. Congrats to anyone who got that right. Super Scoop Up, Lily, Pokemon Breeder, Gollet, Purloin, Plusle, Stunfisk, Minon, Bulbasaur, Reverse Hollow, and a... Oh, a Zekrom Hollow. So no shining cards yet. I know they are super rare, but so far, you know, no success. I think Shining Mew, Shining Jirachi, Shiny Volcanion are the cards that I'll be looking forward to, you know, the most, just because I don't have them yet. Um, obviously, I don't have the Lugia either, but we do have three of them in the collection box behind us that we're going to be opening any minute now. But in this pack, we have a Steel Energy, or aka Metal, Sophocles, Feraligator again, Carvenine. Weasel, Scraggy, 
Volto in the sunset. Ekin snake backwards, my guy. Oh my gosh. We have been reunited. Oh, Ekins. Yo, I gotta grade that one. I gotta get a full PSA 10 clip. Oh, this Pikachu is really nice as well with the rainbow. Oh my gosh. We got a reverse holo totodile. That's super cute. And then we have a oh why Veltal holo as well. Mewtwo. Again, not shiny, but that's because you can't get a shiny Mewtwo in this. Even the Mewtwo that has the shining pattern on it the one i showed you at the start in psa 10 it doesn't have a green tail so therefore it's not shiny but is what it is anyway next pack we have a fighting energy once more sophocles carvinine feraligator ivysaur torkoal minon jinx scraggy scraggy again as a reverse hollow and a mewtwo gx come on not the secret rate would have been amazing if i could pull another one of those but you know, we don't seem to be that lucky just yet. We do obviously have more packs. We have four right here and we have 12 more. So 16 more Shining Legends packs on the way. So don't go anywhere. I'm bringing you guys the goods. I was so close. I was so close to splitting this video into two halves. One half being the investment side of things. The other half being the, uh, you know, the actual packs in two separate videos. But I thought, you know what? Laura and I are upgrading the channel. We want to bring better quality content to you guys. Put it in one video. You know, don't split it up just for the views put all the information in one video and make a better video. And anyway, we have the fire energy right here. We have the Arbok. Let's go. Incineroar. Let's go. Sophocles. Ivysaur. Quillfish. Shroomish. Litten. Larvesta. A reverse holo Incineroar. And a another Zekrom, I believe. Yep, I recognize the number in the corner. 35 out of 73. So no shining cards yet, but I, I mean, they are pretty rare, right? They're, they're expensive in PSA 10, so I can only assume... They're also pretty hard to pull. With that being said, let's continue our search right here with our next pack. We have another code card that I'll save. One, two, three, four. Ooh, these cards are a bit, quite, quite a bit of whitening on the back of these cards. So hopefully we don't get a shining here. We're going to get a shining, aren't we, guys? We're actually going to get a shining. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Scraggy, Croconaw, Jinx, a reverse damage mover, and a Latios again. So another Latios. Damn. Obviously, some of these cards that I do get duplicates of will be on the store, Pokeran.net, as singles. Uh, but for now, I mean, maybe I'll grade them. I don't know if I'll grade them or not. You know, that's something that I'm trying to do recently, get more graded cards in the store. But go and check Pokeran.net out anyway. You never know. They might be on there. So anyway, next up, we got a Mewtwo. We're going to end the ETV pack opening on a shiny Mew. I can see in the corner of my eye over here. But for now, we got Mewtwo. Let's go. And I can, oh, I can see something good. I think I can see some sort of shine in the back of this. Please let it be the uh, the Mewtwo. That's a really cool energy. Volcarona, Damage Mover, Spiritomb, Zorora, Buizel, Plusle, Scraggy, Toracat, Plusle, and a... Oh, never mind. We have a Keldeo Holo. And I think the shine that I saw was the reverse Holo, actually. So, unfortunately, I hyped you guys up and myself, actually, <laughs> for failure. Now, it's time for the final the final pack from the ETP. If you're enjoying the video and you aren't already, make sure you subscribe down below. Let's see if we can hit 2,000 subscribers before the end of 2020. 2020, 200,000. Sounds good to me. Subscribe to the channel with the notifications turned on. The ho -Oh ETB. Uh, I think the pulls have been good so far. Obviously, we did get the ho -Oh. Probably this will be better left sealed though, but I wanted to... Why am I showing you that? I'm not... Oh, scan it if you want, guys. But I'm trying to keep those hidden. Uh, but yeah, so probably lost a bit of value on here. But, you know, I'm trying to bring content for you guys anyway. So it's all good. We've got the Psychic Energy. Pokemon Breeder. Electrode. Great Ball. Ekin Snip Backwards, my guy. Come on. Breloom. Voltorb. Litten. Purloin. A Reverse Holo Energy. Cool. And a Keldeo again. So unfortunately, guys... No hollows in this ETB. Sorry, no no shinings in this ETB. Plenty of hollows, one in every pack. But yeah, no shining cards. So there you go. Here's a quick review of the hollows we've got. The Mewtwo GX is really cool. And I believe the Entei GX is really cool. But other than that, some decent pulls, but no shinings. But we're not going to stop there, baby. We have some more product to open, so don't go anywhere. All right, here we go. Collection box number one. I'm going to open all of these separately off camera just because just to speed things up. But I'll bring you guys all the hollows and all the promos in a minute, okay? As you can see here, you get a Jumbo, ho -Oh, Rainbow Rare. You get a poster, I believe, as well. So that's pretty cool. Of all the Shining Pokemon on it, definitely might have to hang that up. Wait, hold on. All the packs are Shining Legends. Oh my gosh. All the packs are Shining Legends. Bro, I thought that there was like four Shining Legends and the rest were other sets. But that means we've got eight 
16, 24 more shots. Yo, I should split this video up, man. I really should. Run 36 minutes record time already. Oh, man. Let's get the promos out first. And as you guys can see, it's very tricky to do. Okay, so the Pikachu and Ho are actually behind the tabs. The Celebi and Lugia, though, are uh, they're also behind tabs. This is really hard to do. I think that might be the best way, you know, kind of sliding it out. But oh, ho, ho, look at this, man. Look at this. Shining Lugia, my favorite Pokemon of all time. But <sighs> would that have damaged the card, man? It's so hard. I wish they, they've actually improved a little bit, you know, the collection boxes, you know, Pokemon. But okay, yeah, look. And Nick down there in the corner, and Nick here, and Nick there. So already, this is not going to be a PSA 10 at all. Still could get a PSA 9. A center is not great either. But. I mean, I paid, I probably should tell you how much I paid as well. I paid £90 for each of these boxes, I believe. Maybe 95 or something like that. But, you know, if I grade this in a PSA 9, if I grade the Celebi as well, I'm probably, or oh, stash hoping to make my money back. So it's okay. I'm not opening these for the packs. I'm opening these for the promos inside. I do like to keep things sealed, but uh, that's, a, that's a lie. I don't, I don't. I like to open cards, man. That's what I like doing. Got the Shining Celebi as well. There we go. And this one, let's take a look at this one. Pretty decent, you know, not amazing centering, but this one, decent chance at a PSA 10. Can't lie. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to crack open the rest of the boxes, get all the promos out and show you them individually. All right, guys. So here we go. We have 24 packs of Shining Legends and all of our promos. We have three of each promo. I think I'm going to leave these packs for another video just because this video is already getting you know super long but we're gonna take a closer look at all the promo cards so i'm gonna be honest i don't think the condition of these cards i don't think any of them are gonna get a psa 10 easily i think one has a small chance but it's not gonna be easy let's first of all take a look at the loot gears and it's really annoying the fact that they come out of the box so in such bad condition because it really does mean that it's super hard to grade i guess that is part of the game though and that's the reality that we dealt with but Let's have a look. The first loot gear we have here looks pretty darn good. We have a bit of a nick in the corner. I think this is one that I've already shown you guys. We then have another loot gear right here. The fronts all look really good. Obviously, I haven't had a close look for any scratches, but the fronts do look good. Again, this one doesn't look great. We can see a bit of whitening in the corner. We can see some sporadic whitening down the sides. Again, quite a big nick in that corner. And this is literally just because it's been stuck in that, you know, tabbed plastic case. I think that was the best one that I saw on first glance as well. So I don't think that's going to get the 10 either. Here's our last one. And again, I think, yeah, it's going to struggle. Look, you see white in this corner, this corner as well up here. So, yeah, none of these three are going to get a 10 in my opinion. Of course, we'll send them to Greater Gem and to PSA anyway. But I'm not feeling too confident about the shiny loot gears, which means I might have to go and buy some more premium collections. These cost me about £95, like I said, something around that. Um, I think I'm still going to do well. I've got eight packs out of that. I've got three guaranteed Shining Louis Gears and three guaranteed Shining Celebes. Obviously, wait, three total, one in each box. £95 each box, you know. But still, you never know. I could get a secret rare Mewtwo in one of these packs and everything's all good. That's the gamble we're taking. Next up, we have the Celebi. Let's take a closer look at these. We have the first one, which, yeah, it's not great at all. You can see, It's hard to see for you guys, but so much whitening at the top just from being stuck in that plastic case. Look at that again. You can see that's definitely not from the factory. That's definitely from being in this plastic case and being banged around in, in you know, in, in transit. The third one, not bad, not bad. Definitely better. But again, we can see some pretty heavy whitening down the side. You know, sporadically, you can see down here as well. So again, you're probably looking at three nines at, at most here. Um, but again, I should pay for the box itself. I mean, I do already have the PSA 10 Shining Celebi that I bought from eBay. So I'm not desperate to get these in a 10. But still, obviously, if you're buying a box, you would rather it be a 10 than, you know, something else. But I mainly bought these boxes for, you know, solely the Lugia. Then we have the three Pikachu and the three Ho-Oh cards. Again, I'm not massively, you know, bothered about these cards personally for my collection but we'll still take a look at them that one's not great you can see the whitening there uh again you can see whitening again <laughs> again look at this heavy this is really heavy down the side on this one um with a white dot down there that could just be dust right here on the pikachu yeah the pikachu first of all is bent look <laughs> and then you have this on the side um and it, oh, look at that yeah so th these are these are like eights man <laughs> quite a few of these are literally gonna come back as eights but i mainly came here for the shining loot gears but obviously you'd hope that the rest of them are you know decent enough to make a bit of money back so guys if you did enjoy this video please do leave a like down below like i said i will be opening all 24 of these booster packs in a separate video i just feel like it's gone on too long now we've still had the investment talk and the pack opening so i do think like this is a good video if you agree make sure you let me know in the comments and also leave a like down below but yeah 
In the future, look out for a massive Shining Legends pack opening, along with a Shining Legends PSA submission video, and then subsequently the returns video. But guys, thank you so much for the support that you guys have been showing on the channel recently. I really do appreciate it. But now though, I'm gonna love you and leave you. More Pokemon content tomorrow like always. But for now though, take care and peace out.